Dave Gilman, do you mind if I put you on hold? Do you mind if I put you on hold? Dave Gilman. I will continue to hold. 
In fact, I will continue to hold until they put the first man or woman on Mars. <laughs> she laughed and continued to place me on hold. <laughs> Mr. Gilman, I just spoke with the pharmacist. Your prescription will be ready. Thank you. As I was about to make my way out of the pharmacy, my phone began to ring. As I looked down at the caller ID, I noticed it was the pharmacy caller. My prescription must be ready. Hello? Mr. Gilman, this is the pharmacy calling. We just received a call from your doctor regarding the prescription refill. For some reason, the insurance company is denying the authorization. <laughs> you will not be able to pick up this prescription. Denying the authorization? I, I don't understand. I've always gone this prescription, and it's approved. We don't. We don't understand either. Do you mind if we want to hold? <laughs> Mr. Gilman, we just found out what the issue was. For some reason, an old insurance company was listed in our database. We've gone ahead and we put in the new insurance, and it went right through. And, oh, by the way, the pharmacy closes in 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I went down to the pharmacy, of course, with my seatbelt on and obeying the speed limit. <laughs> I arrived at the door with my hand on the old steel handle. It went right open. I walked up to that counter, last name Gilman, first name Dave, one prescription. They handed me the bottle, I shook the bottle, when I went to remove the cap. That was the end of it. Ladies and gentlemen, each and every one of us face situations that are beyond our control. In these situations, we can choose to react one of two ways. Would you want to tear our hair out? Want to slap somebody in the face? <laughs> or we can have humor in our heart and then take a vacation. <laughs>